Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Shen Salvador for our Ideas Guy achievement run. The Caribbean is looking quite nice and black. We're working hard on getting South and North America sealed up. Great Britain has arrived. He's our ally, so I'm not too upset about him being here. Um, but he has arrived, and that means we need to protect ourselves from his colonization efforts. I don't mind him getting a colony here in North America. It doesn't bother me. Uh, he's not going to get a colonial Caribbean because there's only a few provinces he can grab. And Spain is also not going to get a colonial Caribbean because there's only a couple provinces left. So it looks like uh, we've locked everyone out of the Caribbean and Mexico and North America, essentially, is left only to Canada. Yeah, only Canada is available. And I don't, I don't mind if he gets that. Anyway, we uh, just annexed the Illiniwek. I need to go kill this army, though. And we also annexed Mahican over here. So we fed that to this vassal, and we fed that to Chickasaw, and we're annexing Chickasaw right now. So that's where we left off. There's a whole bunch of revolt risk in Africa. You can see there's some Kong separatists at 90%. Where's that? Guirico, Bago, and Kong. Where's Guirico? Guirico, up there. No, oh, yeah, that's because we're religiously converting it. Okay. Okay. I'll send an army up there. We'll deal with it. We have negative 18,000 manpower currently, which is kind of a pain, but it's what we have. Oh, shoot, someone died? No, don't die. Hmm, trade efficiency. Trade efficiency sounds good. At the end of last episode, we finished the administrative idea group, and this has given us permanent inflation reduction for the rest of the game. I mean, it's such a huge, huge boon getting this inflation reduction. So even without an inflation reduction advisor, and without the economic idea group, we're still losing inflation. So this means we can start developing our gold provinces and make a whole lot more money from gold. Because right now we're making 19 ducats from gold, which is the least of all of our incomes. We make more taxes, more production, and more trade than we do gold. But now we can start bumping up gold production, which I believe we did in... No? No, we did it in one province. There we go, we did it in Dewey. Uh, we've been bumping up production here. We can go all the way up to 10 safely. If you go beyond 10 production, then there's a chance that you'll lose production there. In other words, spending the monarch points could be a waste if you lose production there. You just lose the monarch points. Stupid rebels. Ah, stupid loan. Let's see, we're annexing our vassal. What else, what else can our diplomats do? I guess I should get relations up with my ally. All right, Britain, let's be friends. Let's be relationship friends, okay? And since we just destroyed Mali, Songhai has taken upon himself as an opportunity to go kill Mali some more. <laughs> I mean, this is like nothing left, you know? He's just over there taking credit. All right, let's see what kind of leader our new... Oh, he sucks. Our last guy was a 2-3. This guy's a 2-0. What is he titled, anyway? He's titled Great Consul, Motel Chia Ozo Motley. All right, Motel Chia Ozo Motley. Let's see how you handle some rebels. All right, next, Gurma. Where's Gurma? Gurma. Where's Gurma? There it is. Get over there quickly. All right. So you're going to attack me? I think they're going to attack me here. Right? Yeah, here we go. Do we get a defensive bonus? Is there a river between here and Tamaro? There is. Okay. Defensive bonus, save me. Stupid little rebel stack. Ooh, inflation for Diplo? Sure, why not? I've got super inflation reduction now. Alright, cool. These are just mostly mercs, so I don't really care. One of the nice things about the administrative group is we now have cheaper mercs for the rest of the game. 
So not, oh man, our inflation. So not only do we have much better inflation reduction, but we now have, uh, let's see, 25% cheaper mercs, more mercs available, and, and maintaining the mercs is cheaper. So hiring them is cheaper. There's more of them available and paying them while they're hired is also cheaper. It's just such a good, such a good combo. So maybe we can use that to save some of our manpower, <laughs> like just use mercenary soldiers, mercenary infantry for the rest of the game. I don't know. We'll see. When can we get some more monarch points from the estates? Ah, we can do it right now. Okay. Uh, support the clergy. Get some monarch points. Lovely. The Ottomans are westernizing. Oh, fuck me. Ottomans are westernizing. Okay, that's just wrong. That's just wrong. We don't need westernized Ottomans. I mean, granted, they're probably never going to bother me. They're so far away. But holy shit. Nobles look to the House of Orange. Uh, trade efficiency. Cav cost. Do I really care? I don't really care. Just whatever. The other option is to fight rebels. And I'm like, I don't need to fight rebels right now. I'm 16,000 manpower in debt. Press F to pay respects to Shen Salvador. Why? Because of the 10 inflation? No, it's fine. We have huge inflation reduction. We're okay. It's okay. Rebels, Moingwena, the fuck? Oh. Pretender Rebels, really? I don't really care about Pretender Rebels. You guys can win for all I care. As long as you're not Separatist, it's all good. Act of Seclusion. Lose stability or strengthen the oranges. Strengthen the oranges. We're good. We're a very balanced nation right now. Marriage. No. Wonder what happens if if he finishes getting a next, do these rebels become my rebels? Or not? What happens? Because he's gonna be finished his annexation very soon here. Koro's done, move on over. I mean he's almost done. He's at 93%. See you, Dryish, have a good day. Is my goal to remove kebab? No, my goal is 500 ducats monthly income. Currently sitting at 100, so about 20% to our goal. Got a long way to go though. They become my rebels? Well, that sucks. All right. Where's my rebels? Portugal is no longer a valid rival. Aw. Hey, admin tech. So, <laughs> holy shit, look how cheap that is. Because we finished two admin idea groups, it's only 353 tech. Wow, that's cheap. That's so cheap. I got a free diplomat. There goes Chickasaw. All right. Yeah, they do become my rebels. Look at that shit. Even though they're Chickasaw pretenders, they're now my rebels. How messed up is that? Did he finish coring these? He did not. He didn't even finish coring them. You lazy shit. Ugh. You disgust me. Liege wants a, a, an alliance? Excuse me? Liege what? Why, why would I want alliance with you? I did set him to friendly. Okay, that's my fault. I set him to friendly, but why do you? Um, is there any real benefit to that? I don't think so. I don't see that point. You know, no. There's no point. Go away. There's just no point. Missions for India require you to be Christian? Oh, that's so stupid. I don't want to be Christian. Get out of here. Are 
All right, lots of free diplomats now. Mm, let's work on Huron and Shawnee. Come on, attack me, you little shitbag. We're still 12,000 manpower in the hole. That sucks. We're getting there, though. We're getting a whopping uh, 500 a month. Not bad. That's true. If we let Portugal to get a province in India, we can declare on Portugal and take his in Indian province. That is true. Come on, attack me. You know what? He's not going to attack me because I'm... He's, his, he's not really meant for me. These are not rebels that are meant for me. They're pretender rebels for someone else. Hmm. Kind of a weird situation. I should have just taken the land myself. I've got attrition in Africa. Oh, shit. Thank you. Holy crap, I'm dumb. Thank you for pointing that out. All right, core this. Manicuagan, I'll take it. Block off Britain there. And I think I do want to get some of this over here too. So we'll try to get the coast. Well, it's all coast. This is the only one that's not coast. Still. I think it's just going to sit there until the end of time. That is so weird. All right, repay the loan. And I'm going to put a fort in my capital. Wait. Oh, wow. That was like all of our money. Holy shit. That was a big loan. Hey, everyone's leaving the coalition. Good. That's the spirit. Get out of my coalition, you little shitbags. Go away. No one likes you. Oh, Messina. Uh-oh. What the fuck? Okay, that's new. Uh, what is that even supposed to be? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I have no idea. Anyone have a clue what that's supposed to be? I don't know. Election time. 401-0653. Tlotzen Tetschuatli. Music to my ears, Tlotzen Tetschuatli. Free stability, more monarch points, or money? Probably want the stability, but 75 monarch points ain't... No, I'm taking the stability. Who am I kidding? <laughs> Who am I kidding? All right, now this guy. Do I, do I want to keep going with the revolt risk dude? Might want to go with the 5% cheaper tech cost. Or the core creation cost. Because we are still coring our colonies, but the cost of coring our colonies is so cheap now, I don't think that's really worth it. Let's go for the 5% cheaper tech. It's the visage of Cthulhu. He is rising from the depths of the Atlantic. Oh, okay. Cthulhu will devour all. Apparently. <laughs> These rebels refuse to spawn. They're so close to spawning, they just won't do it. Uh, Welsh Brixen has been added to the HRE. Okay. Okay, that's... That graphic is here to stay, apparently. I don't know. Wacomaw is done. Does that give us a colonist? It does not. Okay, so... Why don't we let this one arrive? And when he arrives, we will uh, move on. We'll set up a few more colonies after he arrives. <laughs> Manpower is at 7,000 negative. Not bad. Okay, we've arrived. Rip them out and come here. We're almost done here in Prirara. 
or Pirara. After that, I'm going to get Rio Bronco. And this is simply to block off anyone coming from the Amazon, because there's a little pathway they can do to sneak into this territory. I don't want them to get in there. Yeah, now might be a good time to go for the Incan lands, just because, you know, eventually, eventually the Europeans going to go for it. Ooh, nobility lose loyalty. It's fine. Eventually the Europeans going to go for it, and I should probably have it sewn up before they get here. Do you have any allies? You have no allies? Oh, holy shit. Uh, fabricate. Just claim it all. I'm gonna go eat your ass. How much are you to full an X? 137. Ugh. But I'll take his coastline. I just want the coastline. Keep Europe out of there. Yes, I know reloading will get rid of the problem. I'm not gonna reload when there's still, you know... We're halfway through a video. I'm not gonna reload halfway through a video. It doesn't really detract too much from the game. It's just amusing. Okay, colony done. Um, where to next? <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to head over towards India. We wouldn't be able to do much until we get to uh, until we get to Indonesia. Once we get to Indonesia, we can start fabricating and stuff. But I guess, yeah, let's commit to the India route. I do want to get to India. Man, this is such a mess now. House has got some land. Mosi is independent. Jenny is back. Just all these guys, because Songhai made Mali just spit all this up. I think I want to feed all of this to Jolof. Okay, Mosi has no allies. I guess I could eat him myself. Ah, oh, God, it's all three developments. I'm sorry, this one's four development, but these ones are all three. There's terrible land. Yeah, I think I want to feed all of this to Jolof. Conquistador is dead. That's okay. I won't hold it against you, Conquistador. All right, let's get some... Let's knock some skulls. Yeah. He's got a little... He's got a little mohawk. Look at that shit. That's badass. All right, let's head to... Oh, I don't have a colonist. I don't have a colonist? Really? All right, steal from Manicogan, Manicuagan, and head over here. All right, so that's it for my former vassals, Rebels. They're gone. We'll finally be able to core that shit. I can't even increase the autonomy there. That's so bad. All right, so this place is done. Core it. Kespic, go. And that was our mission, too. What's next? Rival of rival Muscovy. Really? Rival of rival Muscovy. Okay. Yeah, I'm down for that. And Prirara. So Corit. Oh, we don't need to. Head on south. Okay. Yeah, I know we have manpower. It's like the game wants us to go back to war. And there's no revolt risk over here, is there? It's like the revolt risk is gone. I guess what I'll do is I'll leave a couple guys here, but for the most part, let's bring our armies to the new world and let's get ready to kick some ass. Yeah, go dump off troops over here and we'll get ready for war with Huila, who has no allies. He's going to get absolutely fucking crushed. Cusco also has no allies. We should probably crush him as well. 
Oh, no, he does have allies. The graphics just aren't showing the little flag for allies. That's okay. Wah, 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 wah. Naval equipment, weapons manufactory, textile manufactory. I would like to build buildings everywhere. Perhaps manpower buildings would be the most useful. Let's do some manpower buildings, shall we? Okay. It's a good way to spend our money. Hey, the rebels are actually starting to go away. Kong separatists are now going negative. Yeah. So the years of separatism are going away. This is why I'm such a fan of the humanist idea group. With humanist ideas, you get... You kind of cut the separatism... After you take land in a war... You get separatism, right? 30 years of separatism with 15 revolt risk. Um, but with humanists, you cut that down from 30 years to 10 years. Which means you can lower the time where you, when you have a chance for rebels by, by 33%. And humanist also has negative 2 revolt risk nas nationwide. I mean, it's just that good. It also increases tolerance of unaccepted religions. In this case, we don't accept Sunni, but with humanist... Not only would we get negative two national revolt risk, you'd also get increased tolerance of religions like Sunni and lowered separatism. It's, it's just an amazing combination to, to prevent rebels. So you don't have to deal with so much shit like this. I love humanist. We might go humanist later on, but we don't need it. I don't think we need it for this campaign. Okay, next is Trarza, which is way over here. Yeah, that should get Revolt Risk down to, like, zero. Tamaroa. Where's Tamaroa? Tamaroa. Osage. Oh, that's in the New World. Osage Separatists. That's this province. That's this one. No, you can't have independence. Get out of here. What's religious map mode look like? Well... In the Americas, it's very Norse. Everywhere that we go is Norse. However, in Africa here, we've been slowly, slowly converting these Sunni provinces, but there's just so many Sunni provinces, and we don't have religious idea group. So it's very difficult to convert them. It's going to take a long time to get uh, enough of it converted to feel comfortable here. Like to where we don't have so many rebels. No, go away. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get relations up with Brazil. He's at 32 independence desire. He should want independence. Okay, you've arrived. Let's pick up another army. Let's get on the Huila border. Now, we don't really have to claim so much because we have so much, you know, reduced... Oh, hey, more manpower from Micmac? Yeah, I'm down for that. Sure. Why not? Anyway, I was going to say, we don't have to worry about getting claims on all this shit because we have so much reduced core creation cost. We have 20% reduced from our national ideas and 25% from adaptability. So coring this shit's not going to be very expensive no matter whether we have claims or not. Claims would just make it 10% cheaper. But we don't really need it. Perhaps I should just not worry about it. Uh-oh, he's at war. Is he defending or attacking? He's defending. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Colonist has a ride in Diego Garcia. That is such a long way to go. Holy shit. But we made it. And it's time for another tech. Tech 13. We're almost time for tech 14 military, which is a new soldier for us. The Native American Arquebrusier and also the North American Husser. That'll be nice. Have we been giving the provinces to clergy? 
I don't know if we can give overseas provinces to clergy. No, we cannot give overseas provinces away. So that's a problem. Normally, if you give, you know, provinces that are hard to convert to the clergy, then it makes it easier to convert. But unfortunately, overseas cannot be given away to estates. So that sucks. How's the income? We're looking at um, 108 ducats, so about 20% towards the goal. Oh wow, France and Theodoro have white peace. I thought for sure France would rip Theodoro a new asshole, but apparently not. And Theodoro is still at war with Genoa and he's winning. He has forced France out of the war? Wow. Theodoro's strong. How goes your annexation, by the way? He's at, um, He's about halfway done. Yeah, 62%. So he's going to have Castile integrated very soon here. In about 20 years. That's going to be terrifying. Yeah, there you go. Theodoro won the war against Genoa. Theodoro Strunk. Theodoro just beat France. Wow. France has rivaled us. Fuck you, France. Fuck you with a rake. All right, where's my boat? Where's my boat at? Oh, we got a long way to sail. Okay, so... Anyone else notice that these Porta Guaran Separatists have been standing here in the province of Pernambuco for... I don't know... 60 years? You, need, you know, if you want to siege something down, you if you want to make a new nation for Porta Guara, you actually have to stand on someone's territory. Because they were here in Alagoas. This is where they came from. And then they were forced up there. They retreated from a battle. And they never came back. They just never came back. They're like, oh, this is nice. We're just going to live here in the trees now. It was very weird. France is going to come get you? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, that gives us seven colonies. Can I afford an eighth colony? I think I can. All right, so I'm going to steal out of Rio Bronco, a very unimportant province to colonize. And I think I want to get Antiochia. Yeah. Come on, where's my boats? Where are my boats? You know what, though? We're out of time for the episode today, so why don't you come back next time where we're going to be declaring on Huila to take his coastline, which will prevent Europe from getting any of this juicy, juicy gold. All right, I'll see you next time. Have a good day.